We're up in the high country of the White Mountains, country that I'm really familiar with. Well, we're up here where I usually uh, come to look for caribou, but can't really be more than a couple hundred yards. My son Denali and I have been caribou hunting together since he was just a tiny little kid. There's no store in our village. We need to fill our freezes, especially with winter coming on. The caribou are really central to our culture and our food source and existence, actually. When we get meat, you know, we always share with the elders and people that need it. That's not how we do things. When I get a caribou, I leave nothing. It all gets packed out, so seeing this with just the head taken off, I don't know, it's kind of, it's hard to see stuff like this. They left a lot of meat to waste, but ravens ain't good, I guess. The visibility is really low. Is it cold? No. Whiteouts can be extremely dangerous because everything kind of looks the same. Getting disoriented out here in these kind of elements, there's very little room for error. It's really hard to know where you're at and find it back to where you started at. But when I'm out here, I always feel my ancestors' presence. My people have hunted this herd of caribou for millennia. Are you cold? You OK? When my kids and I are out on the land, I always remind them that they're walking in the footsteps of our ancestors and that they're here with us. That will always be a grounding force.